Dury, the sweetheart of the 80s, met Davy Jones and Peter Talk, the monkey heartthrobs of the late 60s. Elisa O'Neill was there as the pop pair and the primate came face to face as a prelude to their Australian tour. Who's aping whom around here? There they were, Davy Jones and Peter Talk, middle-aged men now, in a zoo cage. But the monkeys take great interest in animal welfare and have offered an annual four-figure sponsorship of Melbourne Zoo's squirrel monkeys. Unfortunately, they scampered away unimpressed, but the introduction to Missouri was a little more successful. He, at least, was inquisitive as to who was upstaging his own fame. For humans, the monkeys are still a huge success. Their popularity revived in part by reruns of their comedy show on US TV. In fact, their appeal is greater now than 20 years ago. Their parents would drop them off and run screaming. Now they come and they scream. You know, like, ah, oh, baby! And the children are going, please, mom, you're embarrassing me. They get pleasure from doing the old numbers over and over, but have no illusions about being Peter Pan's. They took some pictures of me a couple of years ago. And they said, sorry, girls, but Davy Jones has no longer got that boyish look about him. In fact, he has more lines on his face than Clapham Junction, <laughs> which, which is a railway station. <laughs> the group rarely performs as a foursome. Each has his own career now. But Jones and Talk will play at the venue in Melbourne until Sunday. Elisa O'Neill, Eyewitness News.